Welcome to Yada Yada. I'm Dr. James. Today we're going to talk about mononucleosis or mono. Mono is a clinical syndrome that is characterized by fatigue, headaches, fevers, swollen lymph nodes in, in the neck or swollen glands, skin rashes, liver inflammation, or a swollen spleen. It can cause hepatitis. It can cause an extreme sore throat. Mono is a viral infection caused by the Epstein-Barr virus in a majority of the cases, but it can also be caused by the cytomegalovirus or CMV. In both cases, however, it is a viral illness. So how does one get mono? Well, mono has been called the kissing disease for a reason. The virus that causes mono is usually passed through bodily fluid contact from an infected person, such as saliva, but it can also be contacted through urine, feces, or it can be sexually transmitted. So don't share eating utensils, straws, or drinks with those that are infected with mono. It is worth mentioning that most infections from either the Epstein-Barr virus or the cytomegalovirus are clinically silent, which means your body mounts an immune response and does not develop into an illness. In fact, most adults have at some point in their life been infected with the virus that causes mono without actually ever getting mono or getting sick. But still, some people will develop the full-blown illness or mono. The test for mono can be accomplished by a blood test, which is ordered by your doctor. There are two different types of tests, the monospot screen or a rapid test, uh, which is quick, results are available usually same day, but it's not the best test and not the most reliable test. The better test checks for antibodies to the Epstein-Barr virus and or the cytomegalovirus. That result can take much longer to come back and sometimes you won't get results for days. Mono is treated typically by supportive therapy, which means rest, fever reducers such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen, taking it easy and by drinking plenty of fluids because it's very important to stay hydrated when you have mono. Your body should mount an immune response to take care of the virus by itself. The symptoms of headache, fever, sore throat, and swollen neck glands can last typically one to three weeks, but they can persist for, for much longer in some cases. But the symptoms of fatigue, malaise, general brain fog, and the like can sometimes last for months. It is important to recognize when to see your doctor. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, consult with your physician. And just for an example, if you have high fevers, sore throat, and fatigue, that alone should raise some suspicion and medical care should be sought. Also, mono can cause swelling of the liver and the spleen, which by themselves can pose further risk to your health. So it's very important to realize that if you are a diagnosed with mono, you can't play contact sports or perform vigorous physical activity until you're cleared by your doctor. As we discussed before, mono is certainly contagious. You should try to avoid pregnant women, babies, the elderly, those with cancer, those with HIV or AIDS, or those who are otherwise immunocompromised, because those types of individuals are at greater risk of having severe and even life-threatening health complications if they catch mono. It's certainly possible to have a bacterial infection at the same time as mono. For example, you could still have strep throat caused by strep A bacteria at the same time that you have mono. So if you think something just isn't right, talk to your doctor. If you have questions, especially if you feel that something else is going on with your health or something else is going on in your body that would require antibiotics while you still have mono, talk to your doctor. That being said, some antibiotics, such as amoxicillin, if taken when you have mono, can cause a skin rash, even a full body rash that's really irritating, and such reactions should be discussed with your doctor. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Dr. James with Yada Yada Family Medicine. Stay informed and stay safe.